just wanted to say some things about the first essay assignment. Um, there are two questions that you need to address in the course of the essay, but don't feel like you have to do that in some sort of mechanical way. Um, they're, they're just a, the, the two basic themes or areas that in the course of the essay you should in some way address. Uh, you know, how you do that is, is really up to you, your personal um, approach or style as a writer. But you should address these questions. And number one, what are the basic moral questions raised by autopilot in the Facebook experiment? That's the, the kind of question I think a, a typical student response to that would, 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 would sometimes be, well, do you mean just my opinion? Or, or, and, and of course, the answer to that is, is yes. Uh, but your informed opinion, that is looking over the material that we've, we, we've been looking at in the first two weeks, um, digging into it, what, what comes out of that, those, those two issues as the, the, the really basic questions, moral questions that are raised by, by these things. So, of course, it's your answer. It's your opinion. Of course it is. Um, but it's your opinion informed by thinking about this material that you've read. That there are such questions, I believe, uh, is, is, is true. And we would have we put them in different ways. Um, but, um, yeah, so you're, you're, you, you want to explore the material and extract out of it or abstract out of it what you consider to be the most important basic moral questions that are brought up by these issues. The, the second part of the essay is really thinking about those moral questions in the terms of both Kantianism and utilitarianism. Do either of them give us a sufficient guide for, for resolving these moral questions? Um, the answer to that could be no. Um, the answer to that could, could obviously be no, that, uh, well, perhaps these issues uh, bring up more questions that, that can't be resolved by employing Kant's categorical imperatives or the basic uh, greatest happiness principle of utilitarianism or consequentialism. Uh, perhaps the answer is both of them do. Uh, perhaps the answer is one does and one doesn't. Um, it's really up to you. The, the important thing is this, the, the second part of it. If so, which approach do you think is a superior and why? Now, of course, it may be that your decision is that neither of them really are adequate, so you'll have to take a different, um, you know, different, different sort of discussion. But if you do think that either Kant or utilitarianism gives us a superior way to handle these moral issues, these moral questions that you have identified, then, then why is it that while approaching these things as a Kantian or approaching these things, uh, on the other hand, as a utilitarian is the way to go? So really, the, and the why is important, right? The why is the, the justification, the argument for your choice that, that we, we should be Kantians or we should be utilitarians or perhaps that we should be neither. It's really up to you. So <clears throat> really think about, number one asks you to think about what are the, what are the moral questions that um, emerge from these, these two issues. And the second part really asks you about the moral approaches that were uh, dealt with in week one, about whether or not they actually help us to come to a correct or at least a tolerable conclusion moral conclusion about these moral problems. The, that's the basic idea, how, how you want to approach that again as a writer, whatever, in whatever way seems natural to you, as long as you cover these areas. That the essay should be about a thousand words and should take a strong overall position. I mean, that's just a guide, right? I would, I would say if you want to write something a little longer, that's, that's absolutely okay. <clears throat> uh, and if, you take issue with that strong overall position insofar as you don't think that the issues do take a definite form, then that's, that's okay too, as long as you, you acknowledge that in the course of your essay. 
So there's just a few remarks about the, about the assignment. If you would like to discuss it in more detail, feel free to contact me either through email or by calling me on my cellular phone.